this is a quickie. For those that have issues with entities, or maybe you notice yourself feeling not so well, sometimes anxious, sometimes stressed, you know, fearful, but a lot of times throughout the day, you might get these emotions that are really triggering you and it pisses you off and you're in the hate mode or you're kind of scared or doubtful about life and all of these emotions work quite like as quite a trigger and at the same time the more you focus on it the more you're feeling it the more of this you will attract being in the unknown sometimes not knowing what to do feeling lost and at the same time because of these emotions sometimes people are unable to take action so we spend sitting days or hours unable to do anything, unable to change the situation, unable to be in control of anything. And the only thing we can control is ourselves. So with that, to shift the situation, while there are billions of ways to do it, one of the things you could try, it's part of the entity removal, but when you get this feeling state that's stressful, anxious, hateful, Anything that you do not like, maybe even this boredom, maybe you're unable to start a project. You want to do something, you know it's going to be good when you do it, but you really don't want to start. Being lazy or, you know, just in the procrastination mood, whether it's creative procrastination or destructive one, you know, there are many variations. But focus on any sensation that might be in your space currently, something that you do not like, something that you would like to change. And as you focus on this identity, this emotion, this feeling state, try to locate it. Where is it within you, in your space? Maybe it's like a headache. It's kind of fear. For some people, when it's fear, it's really hard to talk. So you're going to feel like your throat is closing up. Like you want to say something, but all the words are stuck right here. With all the variations of the different feeling states and emotions, you focus on one thing that's bothering you. Try to locate it within your body or in your space. Maybe it's above your head. Maybe it's behind you. Maybe it's in front of you. And when you locate it or feel it, you don't have to see it. It's just like feeling state, like, okay, well, kind of like, my guess is here. Either way, feel it or not, that's fine. As you identify the feeling state that's bothering you, focusing on it, you can close your eyes or not and imagine or think about something positive instead. Like you might have seen Harry Potter movie, the third one, The Prisoner of the Azkaban, there's a place where Professor Lupus brings out the closet and summons your worst fears. And within that, you can get a spell, it's ridiculous, and it turns that fear into something you don't like into something funny. So this emotion you feel, of this feelings that you do not like, it's kind of like a little meditation. You know, try it out, see if it works. But this anxiety, this feeling state that's bothering you, like, oh my god, what am I going to do? I can't find a job, I don't have enough money, I need to pay my bills or something. What would be the complete opposite? Well, feeling rich, but you're never going to feel like it, especially if you're telling yourself the story of maybe life's hard, maybe it's really hard to find a job, maybe, you know, there's just so many things that's, that's going to take away your money that you're broke. So all of these feeling states, yeah. You're trying to come up with the opposite, but you're not going to believe it. And it's going to be hard to focus on the emotion or feelings that, that you've never felt or probably haven't really encountered. So let's switch. Okay, if I'm feeling like I need more money or I lack money, what would be the good feeling state? Well, having the freedom to do what I like to do. It doesn't matter about me being rich or not. This freedom of like, if I want, I get up and I go for a walk. I go for a drive. I go on uh, hiking or, or swimming or something. Think about this activity that like really makes you enjoy life, at least for a little bit. And so when this negative feeling state comes up, you try to stop being aware of what it is and just for a moment, imagine and really feel, really connect with that place of you working out, if that makes you feel good. You getting that lovely first bite of pizza you love. Going for a walk and admiring the scenery. Getting a hug from a loved one. Something you really, really like or love or would like to get. And just connecting with that state. Just for a few seconds. Really shifts the mindset. Really shifts the attention. But what it does is 
if there are beings in your space or even your own aspect, even your own personality that's like really negative at times or just pops up, got triggered by the surroundings and now it comes up as anxiety, as stress, as worrying, you can shift that and really get it out of your space just by focusing on something else. It doesn't have to be complete opposite, just something that makes you feel good, something that creates this compassion or kindness or just a good feeling state with it. And as you focus on it for a few moments, you really shift and boom, it kind of like shakes you up. Whatever got you stressed and so hooked into a problem, into a neg negative moment, can really like, oh, help you wake up. It's like a slap on the face. You focus on something positive and it's like shaking yourself up, waking yourself from this numbness and boom, you can take action again. You can do something. So, of course, it's a change of energy, a change of mindset, a change of what you're going to experience around you. But, you know, you still need to get up and do stuff. If you want, you can do it. It's just a little change of awareness, change of what you're focusing on, on what you're going to attract into your space. So that might be helpful. Anyway, try it out. Tell me if it works. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.